Welcome back to the briefing room. Joining us here in studio, we now have K9 Alex, and he's the partner of Officer Bob Menar. And Bob and Alex are going to show us a little bit of a demonstration. Bob, tell us what it is that the dogs actually go through, and how do they know that they're going to be involved in a, a, a clothing track or an article track or a suspect track, or if they're going to be doing narcotics work or something like that? Absolutely. There is uh, different equipment that we use for each type of situation we're going to put the dog in. Um, today we have a, a narcotic uh, hide in room right now. Uh, we have a special leash, which is uh, what we have here. It's a, it's a very strong, but it's very light. Uh, and what this is used for is uh, if he's going in and out of uh, rooms or jumping over stuff in and out of a car, it's nice and light. It's not going to get caught up on stuff. We also have a particular collar that uh, he associates with uh, you know, finding narcotics. So it's kind of that operant conditioning. Once you train them, when they see the particular collar, or they know what leash is on them, then they know what they have to actually do and what they're, what they're tasked to perform. That's correct. So what are you gonna do for us here and, and kind of demonstrate for us here today? Uh, we have a uh, marijuana hide in one of these containers here. Alex does not know where it's at, so we'll go ahead and set him up and see if he can find the dope. Outstanding, great. We're gonna go ahead and put on his uh, dope collar right now. Okay, and that's a nice purple collar. Thank you. Everybody enjoys this color. So now he knows what, it's t what he's tasked to do. And I'm gonna give him a command, and then we're gonna start looking for it. Okay. Alex, find dope. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of there. It's a good boy. And obviously that's the big reward for both that's the dogs, boy. is that when they do something successful, you're, you're rewarding them with their, with their tennis ball or whatever their little treat is. That's correct. They, uh, they work for free pretty much, just a toy. Okay. And, and what is it that, that is inside the, uh, the hard shell case there that, that Alex was able to sniff out? Uh, I believe it's a, a container of marijuana. Okay. Outstanding. And Bob, how many seizures have you and Alex made as far as narcotics or, or uh, money seizures have you, have you guys have alerted on in about the last year? Um, in, uh, in about a year, we've probably had three significant money seizures. Okay. And uh, as far as uh, narcotic fines, uh, probably close to 100. Okay. And you've also been actively involved in assisting other agencies. Who are some of those other agencies that you assist, particularly for narcotics? Uh, we help out quite frequently Northville, Northville Township. Uh, Farmington Hills, uh, Wald Lake, Wixom, all the surrounding agencies know that we have the canine. Okay. Have you been on some uh, advanced drug raids with uh, the Sonic and the DEA teams? I have. Okay. And, and not just particular to Novi or our area, but you guys are available to these teams and, and we're operating in uh, southeast Michigan and beyond. Isn't that correct? That's correct. Good. Um, so now, Alex, he, uh, if, if, you, if you take that collar off, then, then what's his mindset now? What's he thinking? Uh, right now, it's just playtime. It's like I did a good job, so now I get to play with my toy. Uh, if we had another find somewhere else, or if we needed to search another room or another car, i just take the toy away, leave the collar on, and just give him the command to find dope again, and okay. he does it all over again. And do you use the same uh, narcotic t um, collar, if you will, um, when you're either looking for narcotics? Is that the same one you use when you're um, testing to see if uh, proceeds from narcotics may have trace amount on there? That's correct, because we are, uh, we're not searching for money, we're searching for the smell of narcotics. Okay, outstanding. And for some of the other tracks that you do, let's say you're doing a suspect track, how is the leash and collar different from that of the narcotic? Uh, the collar that we would use, we actually wouldn't use a collar, it'd be a uh, harness that we'd use on a track. Reason being is we don't want any pressure around the neck because he needs to use his nose to track the scent of the bad guy. That way he can pull and he's not going to feel like he's getting corrected around the neck. And the leash that we use is approximately 25 to 30 feet in length. So he has time to, you know, in the space to move around to try to figure out where the scent's at. And, and I bet that's a pretty good workout for you guys, um, keeping up with the dogs and, and of, of their physical stature. And, and Alex is, what, just over a couple years old now? Or? Yes, he'll be three in June. Okay, real good size and, and obviously at least a year of experience here with us uh, in Novi, and, and we're certainly really glad to have him. When you're when you're working on the narcot or excuse me on the suspect tracks, you actually have another officer assisting you, correct? Yes. Just for your own personal safety, because you're focused. You and Alex are focused on finding the bad guy or bad gal, um, but you guys also have to have somebody kind of watching your back, if you will. Tell us how what, what you tell the uh, other officers or other agencies that might come to assist you in those situations. Uh, the most important thing uh, is we don't want to be backlighted by a flashlight or spotlight uh, and give the bad guy uh, an idea of where we're at. 
We also don't want them to step on our long leash because if they do, the dog might feel like he's being corrected okay. and it may screw him up uh, on the track. Outstanding. Um, Outstanding. Well, great job with Alex. And we're going to take a quick break and we'll be joined in studio by uh, our second canine, canine Moose. So stay tuned.